I'm down in Brighton today and I'm at Sinis. They are a, a motorbike and scooter distributor and I'm gonna try out some vegan scooters here today. And little disclosure, I've never driven a scooter before so this is definitely gonna be interesting. These are the ones that I'm gonna try out today. They're all from the new range or NYU just to not be confusing. And we're going to see how this goes. I honestly hope that I don't fall over on any of them. But even if, it's going to be very entertaining content for you, isn't it? So this is the new M Plus. Mm -hmm. This has two modes, and on this one you'll have a large, a large single battery. So with this battery, you should be able to see around about 70 miles of range. So the NGT has three power modes. So you have your eSafe, mm -hmm. you have dynamic and then you have your sport mode. So in your sport mode you'll see around about 50 miles an hour and you'll also see around about 70 miles of range when traveling in that mode. This is the U-Pro, this has two power modes. So this has a top speed of around about 28 miles an hour so this comes into mopeds category. The N-Series is a single battery 30 mile an hour scooter. Again this comes underneath your moped category. So this is the new app and on this you'll be able to see your scooter, your current battery level, your estimated range with that current battery level. You'll be able to see your GPS tracking and your location on the map. It has weather, it has your pass routes, your rider statistics, so you'll be able to see how you are as a rider. It also gives you area to improve to extend your range mm -hmm. and to obviously prolong the life of your scooter. And also you have a battery health here. So you also have something called a smart check. So a smart check is when you click here and it will connect up to the scooter live and the scooter will run a, um, like a servicing check so it will check over its components. With the NGT and uh, the new scooters they come with cruise control and you select your speed where you want to go and now the scooter will continue to go along at that speed desired. This is how you charge a new electric scooter. So as you can see here you have your normal charger and this plugs into any three pin plug. Obviously it's good to remember that each battery is removable so if you don't have on street parking you can remove your batteries and charge them indoors at a cafe or any, and it, generally you can charge up any... Just go to Starbucks instead no, of using your laptop yeah, you just got to charge it's your battery. Very, yeah that's exactly it. So, <laughs> so say to, to do the dual charging on the scooter you have a little uh, flap here and you just simply Simply push the scooter in, you'll see the light go red, and then we can bring the seat down, lock the seat, the scooter's now on charge, mm -hmm. and if we turn the dash on, you'll see the dash has changed from earlier, and it will show its current charging time, estimated charging, current battery percent, and this will continue to show the screen until the scooter's fully charged. We're going to Food for Friends, I've not been there before, but um, I hope the food's going to be good, and yeah, can't wait to eat, and then we're going to go back and have a little look at some more scooters and hopefully have me not falling off them but we're gonna see how that goes so Romy lovely to have you join us today thank you so much for having me you're welcome as Sinis representing our brand new of electric bikes the electric vehicles are to be a positive earth kind lifestyle. Um, my question to you would be how do you think they'll be received by the vegan community? Well, I think I think the vegan community is slightly shifting to kind of expand more like outside of just food. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been the same for me when I first went vegan five years ago. Probably the first year I just looked at what I was eating, and then after that I started looking more at other aspects of life. Um, and in the same way, I think everybody kind of has like a journey there. It's not like somebody is a hundred percent ethical and sustainable. I, don't, I, don't, I honestly don't think anyone really is. Um, it's just very difficult to be like this nowadays. Yeah. Um, to be like a hundred percent. But um, 
everybody is just on a journey and expanding to more and more things and I think we've really had a big boost in veganism about oh, oh, yeah, two, yeah. two, three years ago now. Mm -hmm. So I think all of these people that have gone vegan back then are now at this kind of point where they start branching out and looking at more aspects of their life rather than just what's in their fridge. So I think it's a really good timing to promote um, yeah, sustainable and ethical um, bikes or like in general like lifestyle products because yeah. it will be like much more taken on by these kind of people that have made that decision in the past and also when people are looking at um, looking at the aspect of the environment I mean there's multiple aspects of why people could be vegan it could be because they think it's better for their health it could be because they want to do it for the animals it could be because they, they do it for environmental reasons mm -hmm. but there's also lots of people that maybe aspire to be vegan but not quite yet Quite there yet, but they still care about the planet. Um, usually, like you know, people that reduce plastic and people that try to, you know, reduce their kind of carbon emissions in any way. And I think, I think it's really good because these bikes kind of speak to both audiences. They speak to the vegans as well as, as those, um, yeah, people that are really interested in sustainability. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it fits right in there. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just remember to stop. I would, I would have realised it. Just, just remember to when you want to stop, obviously let yeah. push the accelerator forward, and you'll be good to go. for you now. Um, I've just come back from Brighton and it's been a truly wonderful day. Thank you so much for the Sinus crew to have me down there and show me around the entire side and show me all of the models that they have down there and it was super interesting and I absolutely loved being able to ride a scooter for the first time in my life. It's been one of those things I've always found like a bit weird because back when I got my driving license in 2007 in Germany um, back then the license for like a scooter was included in your general car driving license and I've always kind of questioned that and found that a bit weird because I'd never driven a scooter before yet I had an I, I had a license for it and I don't know it just it just can't be really safe to kind of do it like that but yeah today I finally got to ride one of the scooters and it was honestly like I was a bit I was a bit nervous about it but I thought like oh you know what we're gonna, we're gonna do that we're gonna get that done somehow and fingers crossed I'm not gonna fall off and luckily I didn't actually fall off and it was much more intuitive and much easier than I thought it was gonna be but yeah I had an absolutely great time and I'm really thankful for Vicky from Sinus for inviting me and we had a wonderful lunch out in Brighton as well I got to try a new restaurant um, which is food for friends I mean, it's not a new restaurant but um, it's been around for a while it's a vegetarian restaurant that has lots of vegan options too 
but I've never been there before. So definitely today was a lot of firsts for me, but it was a truly wonderful day. What's gonna happen now is basically, um, Sinners are gonna provide me with one of the electrical scooters from the brand uh, New, so it's NYU. Don't mix that up with the other word New. I know it could be a little bit confusing, but um, they're gonna provide me with one of the scooters for a month for me to test out so that I can see how the scooter is working and how the scooter like performs and how convenient it is for me to have one of those in the city of London. Because honestly, I think a scooter would be really helpful. Obviously it's kind of weather dependent, hence why we arranged for me to come down in springtime. Um, but I think it would be really handy because you're not really stuck in traffic with it. You can get somewhere really quickly. You don't have to like, you know, squeeze on the tube or anything like that. But yeah, look, all of the scooters, I've had um, four different ones that I was looking at today. And all of them have like a different kind of range for like how many miles you can go on the battery. You've probably seen this by now because you're watching this video. But um, <laughs> all of them have like a different kind of range. Like their battery has like a different kind of range. And... You've probably also seen the different ones that I've been looking at and it's actually the little blue one that I've picked now because it's quite lightweight, it's not, it's not that heavy, it doesn't go that fast. Um, I don't need to do an extra CBT <laughs> to drive it. So yeah, that was just a good choice. It's been a truly wonderful day, I've really enjoyed it. And I already know that I'm gonna name my scooter Sasha. And if you've watched Scraps, then you probably recognize this kind of reference because JD in Scraps had a blue scooter as well. And funnily, on my way home on the train, um, when I was Googling, I figured out that it was also a blue scooter. So it's just kind of meant to be. But yeah, the day was absolutely amazing today. I had a really, really good time and I'm su super thankful that I got the opportunity to go down to Brighton and test out all of these vehicles. I'm gonna have a lovely evening now and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye.